Okay, this is gonna be a little quick one, but I'm all working out here working on my old 1983 K10 uh, Chevy, and the uh, previous owners, I guess the wiper switch went out or something, so they just wired in a toggle switch. So I put in a new wiper switch, and now the problem is the parking. Um, so it's got tape on there now. But we see when it parks, it wants to go down first before it comes back up. So, the problem be if you had them set down where you need to and then they park and you turn back on, it's, it's going to try to go down into the cow. Um, in fact, it was a little bit worse than this before. It's not nearly as bad now. So I'll show you what I did to get it better and then... Uh, And then I'll get it finished up so they'll actually park right again. Okay, first off, I just took, uh, there's three bolts, one there, there, and then down there. Um, and that lets that slide out, and there's a nut on the back side of that right there. But I was able to, right there, maneuver that over there, and then loosen those nuts almost all the way and there's like a ball joint on there right so then you can just lift that top cover that ball joint off and just slide um, that arm out but if you're not able to get over there to do that then you're gonna have to try to get behind and get that one I think it's a 7 16 inch uh, nut on the back side of it to get that arm off and you probably have to pry it off because it's gonna be stuck on there pretty good um, and then the other thing is to check. See, there it came off. See, there's there's the ball joint, and then there's there's a nut I'm talking about. You might have to get off. Um, one other thing to check on these, if it's um, you know parking in the middle, the other problem could be. Let me get this back up here. Is um, way that arm's situated and it goes in that ball they could have it 180 degrees off so instead of because when it parks it should be like way over here and then it comes because it turns clockwise so then it's got to come down and that's what start making it go up if they pulled it off and got it on backwards it then it could be like over here so then that's causing it not to park right also so try uh, moving this so it's 180 degrees and put it in and see if that solves it. If not, then you have to do what I'm gonna do, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what happened is they replaced this motor, took it out for some reason, and put it back in. And when they were tightening this nut up right here, they really tightened it and they made the motor spin counterclockwise a little bit. And then that, through the park switch and stuff at a time. That's why it's doing what it's doing. So what I did before to get it better and then what I'm gonna finish up now is I basically got a, I got this in a vise, I gotta hold it and then I'm gonna whack it clockwise with a hammer to get that motor to move clockwise until I get it into the position where it'll start to park right. Like I said, I almost had it there. It's just going down a little bit. So I just need to whack it a little bit more. Um, I don't know if it'll do this one hand here without holding it, but basically I'm just gonna, like, I think it moved there, maybe not. Basically that's, gotta keep whacking it until, uh, and then put it back up there, and you can kind of manually check it to get close, but then you're probably gonna have to, you know, at least put a couple bolts in or whatnot, turn on, and then just keep doing it until you get it where, uh, where you need to. Okay, I got it knocked down a little bit more. I got it, I just got a couple bolts in um, so I could check it. Um, now let's see if we can see down here. This might be kind of hard. Um, but you can see that's kind of position it should be in to park. So it's on the right side of the motor 
on its way down a little bit. So if yours is like on the left side of the motor, then it's 180 degrees off. Um, that's where it's sitting now. Okay. And now, see it parks, and they, now so they're pretty much coming, it might go down just a tiny bit, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So that should work. It's like they're parking right now, so. Um. So I guess try that. I mean, the only option I think is to, hey, you're gonna have to buy a new motor, um, but hopefully this helps you out because uh, it seems to solve my problem.